Hello and welcome to Star Citizen Sunday. This is a weekly show which covers all the news from Star Citizen from the week just past. I am your host, Mac, so let's get on with it. So this week, ATV is back. We see how the local FPS map is coming along, plus the current status of 3-4. So before we begin, just a quick update of the current status of the PTU and the patches. As of today, Star Citizen Alpha 341 is on the live servers, open to everyone. Uh, the build 342B patch is available to all backers as well. But this is only on the PTU, which is voluntary whether you want to go into it or not. Now, these little patches that they've got are fixing many of the bugs which have accumulated over the holiday season since 341 was released. You'll be happy to know that the canopy randomly opening and closing bug is now fixed, but there's still plenty of quality of life improvements to go. No word as of yet when we will see 342 come to the live servers, but the more issues they fix, the better. So with this week, we're back to ATVs again. The first look was in the Foley audio, which is the audio team has been recently recording for a variety of practical sounds like bullet impacts, uh, in interactive prop sounds and so forth. They also recorded some metal collision sounds to emulate debris from ship parts being broken or destroyed, plus metal objects under stress and strain, which will be used when the ship hulls are under strain from damage or atmosphere, which is going to sound very cool. Also, lots of sounds recorded for hangars. They're using large impacts for when ships land, slide, or come into contact with other objects. For ship flight, the devs have been working on various aspects of the flight, including combat, landing, takeoff, heat management, and atmospheric flight. They're also tweaking the controls based on the feedback from players who got to try out the new flight model at CitizenCon and just dialing in the throttle logic and control, just to name a few. They also spoke about the procedural layout tool. So as they build out Stanton or the Stanton system, they do continue to improve and refine the procedural tools that they use to create all these massive environments. One tool they use is the procedural layout tool. This takes all the assets that the IG have developed for the interiors of space stations and so forth and generates multiple layouts, each different to the last. This means that the developers don't need to spend time handcrafting each location individually, which saves massive amounts of time and keeps things various. They did sort of say that we're going to start seeing some larger rest stops and space stations coming soon as well, and you can see an example of them here. So finally, for ATV, we took a look at the 3D local area map. This was this is at the end of previous phase. Basically, this is the on-foot version of the star map. So this will aid us when walking around ships, around stations, and any location on the ground toggling between floors uh, and potentially seeing enemies. They still need a lot more work to do for this and a little bit more visual polish, but personally, I love the look of it. Um, it's going in the right direction. It looks clear and easy to understand. I have got a separate video of the road of this uh, map coming up on Monday, so be sure to check that out. So also this week, the latest galactic guide brings us the Cabal system. January's subscriber flare is a new Rust Society undersuit, which is apparently coloured appropriately to hide the dirt wear and tear. Uh, I wonder if this is something to do with the new hard surface shader that's coming in 3.5. Also for subs, the new portfolio post focused on a criminal organisation known as the Otoni Group. And finally, just for your heads up, although the roadmap has been updated this week, they have yet to add 3.7 and 3.8, uh, but they did mention that they are currently working on an updated roadmap, which will include the 3.7, 3.8 patches as well, and that should be coming pretty soon. So that brings us to the end of the show. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share the video with all your friends. If you like what I do and want to help me make it better, follow the link below to my Patreon page to learn more.